Hey everyone, what's going on today? Hope everyone's doing well. Um, back at it again, obviously with another video. We're doing some type of repair, right? It's always a fun thing to do repair. This one, you might have heard it. We have uh, a video uh, very similar to this one, which I'm going to be making today on a Lenovo and for the HP. So if you're interested in that, I'll definitely link them down below. Go ahead, check that out. But we have the same problem on a Dell laptop. So when you're trying to install Windows, Windows 11, uh, you probably bought one of those new laptops and you're stuck with this screen. And this screen, it just shows you that there's no drive installed and you just can't get past it. Like, well, it's a brand new laptop. How come there not be a drive installed? Of course there is. Uh, now, if you look at the bottom there, it actually does say something. It says, we couldn't find a driver to get a storage dri driver. Hit OK to load driver. So it says really at the bottom there, right? So we need to do that again. We need to get the driver for it. It's not a problem with the actual hard drive itself there. Um, it's more of a problem just getting the actual driver itself. So Dell makes it pretty straightforward and simple to actually find this driver. You need to have a USB and you need to have most like another computer to do this um, as well so you can transfer it over the USB for it. So let's just get right into it. So um, you can locate your uh, service tag. For, there's two ways you can actually locate it. Sometimes it could be on the bottom here as well. Whoops, on the bottom. Other times it can be under like a latch here and, or other times you can just check in the BIOS. So you can press F2. You can spam it whenever you turn on the laptop, right? And it goes to a BIOS mode. And if you go in the BIOS mode, it'll show everything that's going on. There's a service tag usually on the front page there. So it's the second one column, second row in the middle. That's you can look at your service tag. And once we get our service tag, we can do what? Well, we, get, we need another computer. So let's go ahead, actually go on our other computer. What we want to do is you can put like Dell drivers. It usually has to add one, whatever. You can go to download. It's Dell.com. You're going to be greeted by this page. And uh, obviously, it's not going to be automatically identifying itself. So you need to have the service tag that you have here. So it's usually just a few letters, a few numbers, but I just showed you how to look it up. So let's go ahead and look ours up, which you could do. So when you're looking for a manual driver, you want to obviously put in Windows 11 because that's what we're doing it for. And we want to go down, scroll down, see if we see anything that looks interesting. Ah, we do find something looks interesting. We see Intel Rapid Storage Technology Driver and Application. So what we want to do is we can plug in a USB now. Okay, so we plugged in our USB. So what we want to do is we want to download this driver. So let's download it and let's select our drive. And we're going to hit save. Okay, so we see that it's been downloading. Now we want to hit show and folder. Uh, you might have something somewhere else that I might show the download for. You can go in the corner or maybe just go back to USB. And this is what it's going to be doing is when you hit show and folder, it's going to show this. Now, this is an application. Um, if you're running as an application, it's not going to work. Or it's not going to see it when we go back to that page. We want to actually extract this, and we don't want to use this as an application because it's not going to see it as an application. So we want to extract it. Now, I already have something that's called 7-Zip. And you, can, and you can use 7-Zip to extract an exe file. Let's just assume we don't have 7-Zip or we don't have any type of like WinRNR or any type of extractor. So you would need to get at least 7-Zip. Just Google search it. And it should be one of the first ones that you probably find here. It's a very, very popular. 7-Zip.org, you see that? And then you can download it here if you want to. There's a download, you can go to 64 um, megabyte and you can just use it as an exe. Once you install it, actually, it's pretty straightforward. Then it will actually open itself. I already have it installed, so it's kind of pointless to be showing that. But you just have it here. You go to this website and install it. So once you have it installed, we want to right click here and you see 7-Zip. That just automatically appears. You don't have to put anything else. Now we want to extract it. So we want to do extract two, and you want to have it the name of the folder that's called. It's going to open like that. So, so you see this progress bar. It's going to go ahead and finish, and then you're just going to have a bunch of folders that are going to open up. So you get this folder that comes up, and you want to click one five zero six three. And what you're really looking for is this F6 folder because that's what's going to have it in here. So this is going to be your VMD driver that's there. Um, so now we're good. We actually have this in a folder. We can unplug this and plug back in our uh, Dell laptop and we'll go through it step by step since we have the installer now. So if you're in BIOS mode, we can just exit out of BIOS mode. And what we want is we want to turn it on and we want to hit uh, F12. We're going to be greeted by this and we want to select our uh, UEFI. That's going to be our, our bootable installer. And now we're just going to go hit our UEFI USB which is the one that we want anyway. Now we have our USB here, right? And we want to go ahead and plug in our USB so we can see the rest of them. Okay, so we can hit accept. We have to sign our life away to Microsoft. So, man, anyone read this whole thing? 
Let me know if, below if you've ever read the whole thing or got close to reading the whole thing. I would like to know if there's something funny in, in there. Okay, so we're going to be here at this page. You always want to hit custom install windows. I'm sure, again, if you're doing this, you probably already know that, and we still have no, a problem with the driver. So now what we want to do here is since we have our USB already plugged in, so we want to hit load driver, <laughs> and we want to hit browse. And from browse, we can go to wherever it's stored. So we see that there's Intel uh, storage technology driver. That's a folder. So if we just had the application, it wouldn't show up at all because you have to extract it to a folder. And now we want to hit 15063. And from there, we want to hit F6. When, and when we're in our VMD, um, we're going to hit this folder here at the bottom, whichever is in the VMD folder, and hit OK. And now we have something here. And you see that there is now an RST VMD controller. That's what it is. So we want to make sure that we find that one. And just use the top one. should be OK. If it doesn't work, just try the other one. But it should be working totally fine. And it should install the driver there. So once it's completed, now we see everything here. And you're also going to see that there is like uh, Dell support. You'll see there's lots of other partitions here. These are standard partitions that you do see. And uh, when, whenever you have Windows installed for the first time from like a manufacturer from a store, they have multiple partitions that are here. They also have usually like a Dell or HP or Lenovo. But since, you know, we're a tech shop, we like to make this clean. We don't want any bloatware on it. Those are the extra features that they put on there for software that's just kind of irrelevant. It isn't really necessary. And there's like Dell support, and like it's all the other junk. If you don't have any data, which I'm sure you probably don't, especially if this is a new laptop, you can delete all the partitions on here. So, so now we have only one. You'll see it says drive two. It just depends right on the slot. It can be installed. Uh, sometimes there can this can be like a RAID driver where it has like a Intel Optane drive installed alongside of an SSD, or it could be all one SSD. But it really depends on where the slot is where you're going to see the driver. So we don't care about anything else. We're just going to hit next, and then it's just going to install Windows. Okay, so that's how you do it. That's how you install Windows. Now it's again it's a little bit annoying. It's how you get the driver to see the other drivers. So you can install the driver on your laptop that you just bought, it's brand new, to wipe the operating system for some reason. Or you might be wiping because you have a virus or you just want to do something else, get the bloatware off. That's how you do that. So that's how you find the driver for the storage driver device. And uh, that's really it. There's not really not much else to it. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please leave a like. It really does help us a lot. Subscribe for more content. We'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching. Take care. Bye.